It's physically demanding to be a drummer and usually you don't get as much opportunity to show off your solo chops as the other members of a jazz band. That hasn't stopped Kesava Naidu from devoting himself to his art and becoming a respected musician on the international stage. Jazz. It's all about individual improvisation and spontaneous self-expression. While working in a team with your fellow musicians, and on drums, the fantastic Mr. Kesavan Naidu. Kesavan Naidu has applied this approach to his life and music. And Michal visited him at his jazz venue in Observatory. Picture this, a young kid anxiously waiting to get inside to his aunt's house. Over years, the sound of a drummer for the first time. Fast forward a couple of years later, and is an international artist who gets to travel the world. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please, it is... Kesava Naidu. Kesavan, this is an awesome place just to be a musician. Why did you decide to do all of this? It's all about the music here. So I, even though it's tiny, it's a little New York style jazz club, when you, when you come in here, it's a, it's a cerebral experience. And I just wanted to basically have a place to play, firstly, and also to help uh, the, the jazz scene in general, so for people can actually listen to music in its optimum uh, environment. Tell us about the audience experience. What's that like? Your fans. I didn't know jazz musicians had fans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I mean, like, when they listen to the music that I play, I mean, it's, uh, it's very much a spiritual thing uh, and, and obviously a musical experience. But I tried to bring my entire being into the music. At 14, he made his debut at the Hongsback Arts Festival and after school opted to study music. You took an academic route as well. Why was that important for you? My family has a big um, emphasis on education. I went to UCT, did my undergrad, uh, and then by the time I did my undergrad, I was really playing with all the great South African musicians. Everybody said they have a year off. Yeah. But my year off was actually on the road, uh, performing with these great musicians. And, and then um, uh, I came back and did an honours. Now, ideally, you've gotten to perform with a lot of famous people. Who's been your favourite? I would have to say uh, Bekim Seleku. Basically, he called me when I was about 19 years old. I mean, everybody wants to play with him. I mean, he's just come back from exile and, you know, I get the gig and basically, if you play with Becky and he likes you, you, everybody knows about it. But after Becky, I got to play with uh, Maria Makeba. Uh, you know, I got to record with uh, uh, Winston Mankunku. And one day, the one person that you'd love to work with? There's this great artist that I'm a big, big fan of. His name's Wayne Shorter. Uh, I was, I, I've already played with this piano player, so I think I'm one step closer. I'd love to play with Herbie Hancock. He's like, you know, he's one of the greats. Many artists and performers complain that they can't make a living in South Africa. There are a few exceptions, however, and Kesavan is one of them. Thanks to his versatility and musical ability, Kesavan is in constant demand for live performances and recording sessions with local and international artists. As a member of the jazz ensemble Tribe, Kesavan played at the original North Sea Jazz Festival in The Hague, but he's also a regular at local events. You also played at the Cape Town Jazz Festival, how was that? That's actually like one of my, um, the festivals that I've played at the most. Okay. I mean like, uh, I've played there almost every year in a different format since 2000. Kesavan, you're part of Kesavan and the Lights. Tell us a bit more about your band. The Lights is, is, is an avenue for me to, to write my own music, write, do my arrangements, and, and, and they perform my music. So the Lights are basically where I, I can get to express myself and, and hopefully the band gets to express themselves with me. What's fantastic about Kesavan is when he's whispering, he's whispering. And you hear the wind. Suddenly there's a storm and you can feel the storm. A lot of people play loud, but there's no intensity. With, with Kazivan, there's intensity even in the soft moments. Performing can be a stressful occupation, and being an entrepreneur adds to that stress. Kesavan has a fascinating way of managing just this. 
Tai Chi is a gentle form of martial arts and relaxes the mind and body. Kesevan invited me along for his one-on-one -on -one session. Sweet. Teach your body to relax. So you sink into your right leg, sink forward. You balance yourself up and you step out. Kesevan, what drew you to this form of martial arts? I've seen people do Tai Chi and it looks so graceful and amazing and obviously through some research I realised that it's, uh, it's meditation in motion. And some of the personal benefits you've experienced? Basically Tai Chi has really helped strengthen my, my, my core, my legs. Uh, I'm really getting a, a, a great a, a sense of balance from it. And Tai Chi really helps me relax and since I've been doing it all of a sudden the flow of just the performance is really just singing through. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, my legs are shaking. I can see. <laughs> I think I've earned my teeth. There we go. <laughs> Please have some. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so when there's a ritual that you perform with this tea, so the right way is actually putting your hand underneath and... You're supposed to just hold it like this. Mm. Mm. Refreshing. What are you feeling right now after the Tai Chi? How centred are you? After class, I'm usually quite invigorated. I mean, I feel really good. Even though my legs are, uh, are taking a beating, I always feel really, really good afterwards. Well, on that note, Kesevan, good luck. Thank you.